Hi, ladies. Vintage Doll here with a new video that I think that you guys are probably all going to end up laughing at. Um, if you are an active watcher on YouTube and follow a lot of us vloggers, I guess is what we're called, um, you've probably seen a lot of videos called um, Random Questions Tag. I was talking to a fellow YouTuber friend of mine. And he did them with his wife, and they were really funny. I watched it, and um, so I thought that I would do it. I thought that maybe you guys would get a kick out of me answering these questions. So let's get started, because there is a lot of them. There are 32 random questions about me. So the first question is, do you sleep with your closet doors opened or closed? Closed. Closed. I mean, if the boogeyman is in there, I think he deserves his privacy. Do you take shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels? Yes. Because if I came home without them, my niece would be very disappointed because she looks forward to those teeny tiny bottles. She usually uses them for like her dolls. I always take my own shampoo and conditioner because that stuff just strips your hair of everything. Do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or out? Tucked in in the bottom, but out everywhere else because if I feel um, like held down at all I get really really uncomfortable and I don't like that like sometimes my cat tries to sleep on top of the covers on top of my feet and I have to kick her off because it drives me crazy have you ever stolen a street sign <laughs> no <laughs> I don't think so I know my big brother has sorry there do you cut out coupons and then never use them I am guilty of doing that before but that's because I like I'm shopping with the kids and then I get to the register and I'm just like let's just get this done so I can go home and I don't care so yeah I'm guilty of that would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees well I mean at least if it's bees I have a better chance of living afterwards if a bear mauls me I'm probably gonna be minus a few limbs so bees I'll go with bees I guess I've never been stung by a bee there's another fact do you always smile for pictures? No. I don't always smile for pictures. Um, cheesy big grins are very important and a big part of pinup um, photos. And I smile a lot in my pinup work and I smile a lot in my selfies. And the few times that I don't smile in my selfies and like I'll have, I'll try to be sexy or I'll try to be like serious, you guys yell at me and you're like, smile. <laughs> Do you ever count your steps when you walk? Not recently. I think I did when I was a kid. Not, not recently, no. Um, have you ever peed in the woods? No, I am a firm believer that if there is not a toilet, I'm not peeing. I'll just hold it until I die. That's not true. If it's an emergency, uh, I guess I'd pee outside, but I've never been in a situation where it's an emergency and I have to pee outside. So, I haven't, I guess I haven't crossed that, that part of my journey in life yet where I have to pee, where I'm forced to pee outside. Do you still watch cartoons? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, I went a long time without watching cartoons. Um, and then I had kids and I started watching them again and now my favorite cartoon is Adventure Time. You guys know that. I'm a big Adventure Time supporter and um, my son Ben even tells me it's it's your favorite cartoon because it is because it is my favorite cartoon. Um, where would you bury hidden treasure if you had some? I'm not selling you. Um, what do you drink? with dinner. Usually, um, I usually drink pop with dinner. I'm a big carbonation freak. I love bubbles. I prefer Dr. Pepper. Sometimes um, there are certain things I like to have root beer with and then sometimes if I feel like I just need a crisp refresh, I choose like a 7-Up or a Sprite. Um, what do you dip a chicken nugget in? 
Chicken nuggets are kind of scary. I mean, I guess it depends on where that chicken nugget is coming from. Are you talking about a chicken nugget from McDonald's? Because if that's the case, I'm not dipping it on anything with a trash can because those are terrifying. Have you seen those things these days? It's not what it used to be in the 50s. Um, I'm a big fan of chicken strips. Like, I get made fun of in my family because everywhere we go, it doesn't matter what restaurant, the first thing I find on the menu is chicken strips. And I always dip them in ranch dressing. I love ranch dressing. Um, what movies could you watch over and over and still love? Uh, funny movies. I really like funny movies. One of my favorite movies of all times is Encino Man. It's like one of my favorite movies. Um, I also like um, Judy Garland movies I can watch over and over. Musicals in general I can watch over and over. Westerns. John Wayne movies I can watch over and over. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of them. Let's see, were you ever a Girl Scout? No, no, I was, I was never a Girl Scout. I never even considered Girl Scouts. I did jazz for a little bit when I was little, but I mean, I was homeschooled and I was really shy. So anything that put me in a place where I would have to be open, I just didn't do it. I was like, no, I'm going to stay home. Um, would you ever strip or pose nude in a magazine? That's, that's kind of fitting. No, I would not. Um, my photographer asked me once when we were shooting, she said, okay, here's the million dollar question. If Playboy offered you, and she said million, and then she asked, if Playboy offered you $500,000, would you pose for them? And it was an easy question to answer. I said no, because, um... That doesn't represent who I am as a person. I don't have anything against that. I support women who do that. They're beautiful and strong and independent, and that's their thing, but it's not my thing, so. No, I wouldn't. No, you're not seeing these toddies. No, sir. Can you change the oil on your car? Yes. Yes, I can. Um, my big brother showed me how to do it on his 67 Mustang when I was 16. Um, I went out there and I helped him pull the transmission out and I pulled um, the radiator out and we pulled the engine out and all that stuff and in the mean like while we were doing it he showed me how I would change my oil as well um, have you ever gotten a speeding ticket I have not knock on wood I have not ever been pulled over I've never gotten a speeding ticket I've never gotten a traffic violation of any kind I am a responsible driver thank you very much Afraid of heights. Yes. To, to a point. Um, I don't like heights because I feel like I'm immediately off balance and I'm going to fall to my death. So I guess that's a yes. Do you sing in the car? Yes, I do. I sing in the car at the top of my lungs. And then if people catch me, like if I'm driving and I'm like, yeah, and I'm singing at the top of my lungs, people look at me and they laugh at me, I then serenade them. That's what I do. I did it to a cop once, but I didn't get pulled over. Um, is Christmas stressful? Christmas in my family has always been really, really important and really big. Like, Christmas is important to most, like my mom, really takes it to the next level. And I wouldn't say, I think that Christmas is stressful to an extent, but it's worth it. You know, Christmas isn't stressful at home. It's when you leave and go out into Christmas like into what Christmas is anymore, that's when it gets stressful. Walmart is stressful, period, but on Christmas, I'm pretty sure it's hell on it. Occupations you wanted to be when you were a kid. Um, I wanted to drive an ice cream truck when I was a child. I thought that that was an awesome job. And then um, I wanted for the longest time to be a makeup artist. I wanted to go to school and become a famous makeup artiste. Do you believe in ghosts? I do not. I do not believe in like, ooh, I don't believe in ghosts. I believe in manifestations of, um, of kinds, but I do not believe in ghosts. But if anybody finds Casper, send me away, send him my way because that little bugger is adorable. Okay, the first concert you ever went to. Um, the first concert I ever went to was actually when I was, um, 
I just turned 16, so it was more 15 than 16. And um, a little girl that my mom used to babysit, her mom was a friend of our family's, they got tickets to a local amusement park here, and the concert was Bowling for Soup, so it was like pop punk, I guess is what they're considered as. Uh, and that was my first concert. It was very exciting. I had a good time. Um, until somebody threw a water bottle at me and called me a whore. Not sure why. <laughs> but I laughed. I thought it was funny. Um, Walmart, Target, or Kmart? Preferably Target. I, like every other woman in this world, love Target. I love Target. They always have amazing things. But unfortunately, most of the time I have to go to Walmart. It's closer to my house and it's cheaper for most of the things that I buy. Um, if I'm going for something like clothing, then I go to Target. My, Nike or Adidas? Adidas, um, from the age 13 to almost 16, the only pair of shoes I wore were white on white Adidas with like the fat pink shoelaces. Can you curl your tongue? What does that mean? Like, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. like that? That's a taco tongue? Curl your tongue. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know what that means. <laughs> now you guys have seen me. That's just weird. I can tie a cherry stem in a knot with my tongue. Um, have you ever cried because you were so happy? Yes. Yes, definitely. I've cried because I was so happy. I'm a cry baby when it comes to happy. Um, the last concert you saw was the Reverend Horton Heat Necromantics Deke Dickerson concert that was here in Oklahoma. The best concert I've ever been to. Um, can you swim well? No. No. I can dog paddle and I can keep myself afloat, but like the swimming? Mm, no. <laughs> no. I don't even want to know what that looks like. Uh, can you knit or crochet? I cannot. I am not that crafty. I am only crafty enough to make um, other human beings and I am crafty in the way of I can make like I can make some really awesome cards. I get really creative. Um, I can draw. I can't. I can't knit or crochet. That's that's quite the talent, and it, I find it very impressive. Are you a dog person or a cat person? I am a cat person. I don't know where fatness is. She's somewhere in here. I love cats. I grew up loving cats, and um, I still love cats. And now I have a big, fat, white, fluffy cat. Her name is Fatness. Always dines. Um, AKA Fluffy, AKA Bumble, AKA Fluff and Stuff, AKA I love her and she's the big spoon at night. So that is my 32 random questions YouTube tag. I hope that you guys enjoyed um, listening to these random and fun facts of who I am. Um, if you guys need to contact me, there will be links for, below provided to do so. Make sure you hit me up on my Facebook where I will be sharing lots more of my pinup lifestyle and what I do. And make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more fun videos. And feel free to share it with a friend so they can get in on my shenanigans too. So, I love you guys. I hope you had fun listening to the ridiculousness that is truly the doll herself. I will see you guys later. Bye.